Is GPT-5 a much smaller model than OpenAI presents? This new update is showing traits we usually expect from small models, like speed, efficiency, and handling bigger workloads with fewer resources. Whether that's true or not, it shows something important. We're starting to see large models take on features that we normally expect for small language models. So, what's the real difference between SLMs versus LLMs? Here's the thing. LLMs are incredibly powerful, multi-purpose and flexible, but they come with higher costs and complexity. SLMs, on the other hand, are lighter, faster and often better for specific, repeatable tasks. If you're building for scale and adaptability, LLMs make sense. But if efficiency, cost control or edge deployment matters, SLMs are often the smarter choice. Is GPT-5 bending that line? Let us know in the comments what you think about this new update. And if you had to choose for your own work right now, would you go for the big powerful LLMs or lightweight SLM?